Elias Sadler was talking about the test that they had here in the uh, while he was talking about Elias Sadler's oh, test oh, trouble, here. In the wall. Oh, trouble in the racetrack. Jason Leffler in the 60. And that is heavy damage to that car. Heavy, heavy damage. Caution flag is out. Field slows. That's in turn four. And boy, that's oh, a man. Wow. big hit. When the net is down, so obviously Jason in the car moving around. Jason's mad. We know he wants out of that yeah, thing in a hurry. Get, yeah. I mean, that car, folks, is destroyed. That is not repairable. And they have the softer barriers here, and still you can see yeah. what a shot he took there. He had, or a report is, brushed the wall earlier in turn one and potentially had a fender rubbing the right front tire. So uh -huh. maybe that tire failed and caused this. It sure looks like, yes, it looks like a right front tire failure. That car looks like it's narrowed up a foot, maybe even more. Pancaked. Mm. So you see the uh, record crew there to hook up the machine and take it away, and Jason getting ready to extricate himself from the race car. So caution is out for the first time in the Brickyard 400. Elliot Sadler leading at Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the first time in his career. NBC Sports at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway with the 11th running of the Brickyard 400, presented on NBC by Exxon and Mobile Retailers. Under the first caution of the race came out five laps in when Jason Leffler hit the wall. We talked about him brushing the wall earlier. We can show it to you. There we see him bouncing off the wall. That's up in turn one. Now here he's going, there we see him just, just brushing the wall. But that knocks the fender in on the tire. It rubs. The end result. A few laps later, boom, boom. And that's the end result of boom. So they haul Leffler's car away. And we were no 